Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then hello, my name is Maddie. And if you're not new here, then welcome back, even though I know it has been a minute. Uh, there were just some things happening, so I wasn't really able to film. Um, and now I can again, which I am super excited for. I missed making YouTube videos a lot. Um, I loved building up my little writing community and being able to, yeah, just really enjoy the process of like filming what I'm doing, making the YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, I'm just really happy to be starting that up again. Um, and yeah, just having that community that I really missed. One of my subscribers is actually beta reading this Cruel Fate, which was just like the coolest thing ever. Um, and it just, yeah, felt really good. Um, so uh, yes, that is, I think like, yeah, just happy to be back. Um, today I am really going to be working on continuing to go through alpha reader feedback and rewriting. My beta reading document I split into four parts, so I've sent out the first two. I'm working on the third one, and I'm really hoping to get that done today. That would be just awesome. And then starting the fourth part, um, just so I can kind of stay on my very tight schedule. I don't know why I did that to myself. I just think I work best under pressure, but it's a lot of pressure. So yeah, this is what I'm working through still uh this is what i've got left um so yeah i just wanted to kind of like vlog um reading through this getting those edits in finishing up hopefully part three um and yeah i'm just super excited to be back and super excited to have you guys along for the ride and i think that's all i've got for this little intro so yeah we're just gonna dive in to the editing and rewriting process. Thank you. could be worse. I have gotten through about this much so far and my goal is this much. So like I said, could be better, could be worse, uh, but I'm pretty proud of the balance I've been finding between taking out things that don't make sense or they're overly wordy and using that extra like word count allowance for things that definitely needed some more description or adding in some scenes um that help the story flow better uh so that's just been kind of like yeah finding that good balance but i think we're getting there and getting it to a place that is readable which what more can you ask for right um, I'm feeling a little sleepy, so I'm like debating on whether or not to take a nap because I know if I do, 
that's gonna be like three hours that I'll be out and I really want to keep on writing so we'll see but yes so that was just a little check-in downloaded Grammarly Pro or whatever um, for like the seven day free trial and then it charged me like $144 for the year and I've been using that and I would not recommend it. I feel like it's so overpriced for what it does um, especially since I'm pretty much only using it for like the basic punctuation um, and like verb usage edits. Uh, most of like the style suggestions is like some of them I will take but some of them it's like that's just the style of writing that I'm trying to do and I think like for any person reading the sentences make sense and they wouldn't make sense if I made the changes that they wanted me to make so I definitely would not recommend it um just use the free Grammarly because that's pretty much yeah, I pretty much spent $200 to use like the free version of Grammarly so um, if you were wondering or considering, that's my two cents. It's my recommendation. I definitely think if you want more of like in-depth stylized recommendations, this is like a little bit more inconvenient since it's not loaded onto uh, like Google Docs is what I'm using right now, which it and Grammarly doesn't even work with Scrivener, which is what I normally use. So it's already, if you use a different word processor, uh, other than Google Docs, Grammarly is like not anything anyways. Um, but Hemingway Editor, which is free, uh, and it's just like HemingwayEditor.com, you just load your uh, excerpts into that and then it, that will pull up uh, uses of passive voice, which I used to struggle with. so much um i watched some videos so it's a little bit easier now and then having it pointed out to you i think you can definitely tell a lot more so that was really helpful just to kind of see all those instances where i was using passive voice it also points out like your adverb usage and if you're using too many adverbs for the amount of words you have um and a few different other things so for more uh yeah like style and word choice edits I definitely think Hemingway Editor is a bit more useful than Grammarly because I even have Grammarly set to like creative writing, informal, uh, knowledgeable for like bigger words and some words that I don't think are that crazy. It's like your audience may not know and I'm like I'm pretty sure they would and yeah some of the edits that they're suggesting I I don't think they're right um, which I may be wrong. Grammar is not my strongest suit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to pop in and tell you to save your money if that was a cost you were considering. Hello, it is just past six. Um, I ended up not taking a nap and just kind of trudging through a little bit more um, but I'm actually gonna go get dinner with a friend and then I don't know if I'll vlog any more tonight um, but I think I kind of want to make like a little weekend vlog so yeah I think I will see you guys I'm not sure if I'll vlog any more tonight uh, but I kind of want to make like a little weekend writing vlog so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow which will be Saturday morning um, and go from there but yeah I think I'm pretty proud of the progress that I made these next few pages my edits were pretty minimal um, so it'll just kind of be like line editing um, not big story changes so that's good um, all right, but yeah, thank you for watching to this point and see you tomorrow Good morning. It's Saturday. Uh, I didn't write anymore last night after I went to dinner 
Um, so I'm gonna get some writing in before I go to work, but first I'm gonna go to the farmer's market, which I absolutely love. It's still the winter market, so it's only like the first and third Saturday of the month. So yes, I'm very excited to go. We'll get some bread and jam and dog treats and it's just like such a fun time. Um, so we're gonna stop there and then yeah, I'll come back and it's just gonna be work in time until I have to go to work. So yeah. I'm back from the farmer's market and I was going to like try and film some of the things but I just like find it really awkward to film in public. I don't know. I don't know. I always like vlogs and stuff where they show their days and they're going out in the world but just to like film it it just I don't know. I can't do it. So I'm back so I just thought I would like show you everything that I got. I'm so excited. We got some like pumpkin butter and apple pie jelly, I think. Uh, some coffee and some dog treats, which they loved these last time I got them. We got some snakes, um, some sourdough bread, and it's like the best tasting bread in the world. And then I got this like little croissant type pastry um which i'm gonna have for breakfast and i'm so excited so yeah now that i'm back we're just gonna dive into writing film on Sunday to complete like the little weekend vlog um, but the words were just not happening my brain was just absolutely fried and it just felt like anything I was working on it just wasn't turning out how I wanted it to it wasn't exactly like writer's block since I know exactly what I have to write like it's in front of me the scenery right is outlined and everything um, I just couldn't make it work um so i decided to take i just stopped and then i decided to take monday off completely as well just a complete break from my story and writing um and i think that was just really what i needed i am feeling a lot better today and a lot more inspired um so yes i think this will be like the last day for my weekend vlog even though now it's like the beginning of the week um but yeah, so we're just going to get into it, get some good writing done. I did want to go get coffee, but it is snowing even though it's April. So I love that Colorado weather. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of see how the day turns out and shapes up.
talk about my progress. I have like just under 30 pages to get through to get to my midpoint. So I really, 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 it would be great if I could get that done tonight. And I'm really gonna try. I definitely think that this process has taught me a lot about how I'm going to tackle my next book. Uh, Cause I definitely think it takes more time than I thought it would or that I wanted it to. Like I was just so, I was too ambitious, I think. And um, yeah, so I think I'm definitely going to go slower, give myself more breaks. Um, the days off yesterday and most of Sunday were really helpful. Ugh, but it's still really hard getting back into it and maintaining the like initial pace of drafting. I think I'm much better at drafting because it's just like, woo, you know, just like go seeing where the plot and characters take me and now it's very structured. Like I have these things written and then it's looking through and seeing does it work, does it not work. Uh, so I definitely have a lot more in the to do in the editing stage and um, so I think next time I definitely want to work on a better outline and so I'm more disciplined for the drafting process to hopefully take off some of the strain of the editing process. Uh, yeah, it is, it's a lot and it's a lot of like brain melting, always reading, writing, editing. So it's a good learning process though. I'm very glad to be working on it and have my writing group and the, my beta readers and like the people that little community just helping me out that has been invaluable and I've been getting some of the beta reader feedback and it's been so helpful and yes I'm just so thankful for it and it's is really hard to not want to like go back and edit that first those first parts um because it's like well I really have to work on this part um and I think at this point too it's kind of just getting stressful like worrying if my plot beats are in the right place and what you know because I know this story so well so I know what's going to happen and I'm excited for what's going to happen but also reading like these connective beats over and over again it's just like oh my god is it boring is it you know there's just so many like doubts and all of that um so just trying to work past that get through that and yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, I think I just took a little bit of a break to read and I'm reading, if anyone is interested, The Secret History by Donna Tartt. And it's so good, but it's also so beautifully written. And I so, you know, it's always hard to like not compare when there's something that's finished in its final form. It's been through all the edits and everything. And it's just like, regarded as a classic like a modern classic so yeah just trying to work through that and remember that my own voice is good enough and I really love the story that I'm trying to tell and yeah it's just continues to be a work in progress and I will get there and I will get to that finished point um the only way out is through 